Hey all, it's me Preeti. In my previous video, I have taught you how to eliminate the duplicates in an unsorted array because someone has asked me to do it. And that was the logic we used to, I mean, I used to eliminate the duplicates which are present in an unsorted array. And the same logic can be used to delete the, dupl uh, I mean, not the duplicates, whatever element you want, you can delete it from the unsorted array or even from the sorted array by specifying the index position. So imagine uh, you will give a, a array this way and the elements it, uh, it contains is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. The index position of 10 will be 0 and 20 will be 1. This will be 2, 3 and 4, right? So if I want to delete the element 10, then I'll, pro then I'll provide an index position from the console 0. So when I give 0, the element 10 will be deleted. So let me just run this program and I'll show you how this works. So it tells enter the index position to delete the element. So I'll give 0. When I give 0, 10 should be deleted. So after deleting, you can see 20, 30, 40 and 50 is being printed. So this is how this program works. But uh, you want to know the logic also on how it works, right? So it is similar to the previous program, but there's simple change. So please do watch my previous video. And um, after watching that, you will understand how to eliminate the duplicates from unsorted array. And there is minor change to that and which helps to delete the elements in an array by specifying an index position. So I'll quickly do it. Please do watch carefully. Uh, till the end yes so i'm just taking off everything i, I i'm just left with the in, uh, declaration and initialization of an array so to take input from the console you need scanner so scanner s is equals to new scanner system dot n right it is system dot n and yeah just print this statement whatever you want to see on the console so i'm telling enter the index position to delete the element yes and i'm storing whatever you enter into an integer and giving the name as index value which is equals to s dot next int yes now first step is to identify whether there's presence of duplicates or not uh, I'm sorry, it is not the presence of duplicates. First, we, we are supposed to perform the comparison whether the index value, whatever you enter, is it equal to the uh, i value, that is the index value which is present here. That is, when you iterate a loop, you get i value that is nothing but the index position. So, whatever index value you provide, whether it is equal to the i value or not. So, first you're supposed to do that comparison. So, I'll go. Uh, I'll pass my array and the index value to do a index comparison. So I'll give index comparison as my method name. I'm just giving, I'm just implementing the logic in other method because it would be more easier. Uh, I mean, it will be efficient. Index comparison and I'm passing my array and I'm passing the index value as well. Yes. Now, when you get this error, just go over on it and it will ask you to create a method. So just create and what are you supposed to do now to compare? So I'm just iterating a for loop to traverse an array. Yes, write for keyword and give control space. It will say iterate over an array and just give enter a dot length. Now what am I doing here? I'm just performing a comparison whether the value i and whatever you enter index value whether it is equal or not. Yes, if it is equal then please do pass that index value and complete array to delete to delete element sorry to delete element method I'm passing array with the index value yes and uh, so there's another method called we will create another method delete element where they where we will implement uh, to delete uh, element logic so I'm returning a back now come back here yes so what are we what are you supposed to do here so index value you will get it here when you get index value just check 
whether that index value does not um, it it does require all the i mean it does satisfy all the conditions that is you check whether the index value if index value is less than 0 and check whether the index value index value is greater than a dot length so when this happens then there will be a possibility of array index out of bound exception and when this exception occurs you are supposed to return back the array so if this condition doesn't occur then it means whatever the index position value you are entering then that is present in an array and it is not less than index value and it is not greater than array dot length value okay now I, I want to store my result in different array that is the reason I'm creating new array is equals to new int but I want it with the length of my previous array minus one so why should I give minus one imagine there's presence of five elements and you're deleting one element among that when you're deleting one element among that there's presence of only four elements but if I store it in my previous array only then it will surely take my five index value uh, length I don't want that to happen I want only that length of result to be stored I don't want extra length that is the reason I'm giving minus one I hope you understood now the main logic comes here please do concentrate so after iterating a for loop of result because i want this much length only i don't want more length okay now my uh, uh, this one what the logic is if i is less than index value please store array of i into result of i else if the index position value and the i value is the same then please don't store that index position value but store the next index position value that is i plus one and finally return the result Yes, and this result goes back to our main method and it stores our result here into A. And please do iterate a loop so that you will print an array. Oh, so I have already explained to traverse or to get individual elements, you are supposed to iterate or traverse. Only then you will get back the result or an array elements. Yes, and I'm just taking out this LN, save and run. So it is asking me enter the index position to delete the element so i'm just giving a semicolon to make it perfect yes save and run when you do this it is asking me enter the index position value to delete an element so i want to delete second index position value which is 30. so you can see 30 is being deleted even and you have 10 20 40 and 50 right if you want me to do it again, I'll go and now I'll try to delete the zero index position value, which is 10. So you can see 10 is being deleted and you have 20, 30, 40 and 50, right? So this is how you implement the logic very simply. The main logic lies here. First, whatever you do is you just check whether whatever you, uh, whatever you enter, that is index value, is it equal to the index value of a real actual array? If it is equal, then it goes to a logic called delete element. It comes to this logic and whatever what it does here, if the index value is equal to the i, that is whatever the value you enter, if it is equal to the array value i, then it means that value is present and that value should be deleted. So it never stores that value into my resultant array, but it stores the next value that is a of i plus one index position value. Imagine whatever I have entered index value is three. And when the follow up iterates for the fourth time, the i value will be three. So three is less than three. Since three is less than three, it never stores the third index position value into my resultant array, but it stores the three plus one fourth index position value into my resultant array. That means it is eliminating that third index position value, 
right so this is what the explanation and this is how it actually works so i will also make an another video that is how to insert an element into an unsorted array and it also works for sorted array so if you have liked this video please do subscribe and share among your friends and if you didn't understand or if you have anything to say please do let me know in the comments i'll get back to you in an even more better way and thanks for watching please do watch my next videos as well